Hi, I'm Brendan here with P3 News and Reviews here to do an unboxing of the Nikon D7500 kit with the 18-140 to 140 VR lens. Uh, Nikon just sent this to me, so let's check out what we have here. Okay, so we have our standard warranty cards, various books, manuals, all the Englishes and languages of the world, I'm sure, as they tend to be. Um, uh, promo for the Nikon school. I think they've been including some Nikon classes with a lot of the kits lately. That was the promotion over Christmas, so I'm sure that has some details in there. Your genuine Nikon strap. Battery charger. Plug adapter for the charger. For the charger. Battery. USB cord. Looks like the iCap, viewfinder, uh, cover. Let's see. So we have one nice brand new Nikon D7500. Fresh from Nikon. Still has the little pad on the back to protect the screen. Let's see here. Uh, it says note that parts of the product may become hot. Thank you very much, Nikon. Got to take that off to uh, use it. Set that right there. Yeah, that's that. As you can see, it's nicely packed, compartmentalized. No styrofoam. Good Nikon. Uh, nice, uh, mostly recyclable materials. Plus, uh, styrofoam tends to get everywhere. Not too many people use styrofoam anymore for cameras, but. You know, we'll see. Here, so we have the lens. Put that there. Wrap this all up nicely here. So here, of course, the book, the warranty cards, battery, charger. Here's what's interesting about this charger here that I just noticed when I was unwrapping. Didn't pay much attention before, obviously, because just unwrapped it. Your uh, plug adapter goes right in here, plugs it, so it's a wall charger. But it looks like you could use a standard um, plug cord for most chargers these days. Uh, goes right in there since this is just a plug. Right now, it unfortunately, is a wall wart, basically. Um, so you can turn it sideways. Uh, it locks in position there with this switch. Pull it up like that, and it would be charged like that. Um, so, good thinking. Um, what's also nice, it appears, here is that this charger, battery has a nice cap on it. Pay no mind to the uh, puppy uh, you hear in the background sure you can't see but this slides in from the side it's kind of cool secures in there too it, it, you have to give it a little force to pop out so kind of like that nice for, uh, for this style charger uh, USB cable don't need for right now again this looks like an Ike um, the uh, cover for the eyepiece for if you were not Doing long or for if you were doing long exposure stuff like that. Um, I'll look in the manual a little later and your strap. So uh, here we got this Nikon Snap Ridge, a little tag here. Um, we'll see how that works in a little bit uh, during our testing and reviews. Um, it uh, I've heard some iffiness on the Snap Ridge capabilities, at least with the. Uh, uh, 850 these days. Some of the older cameras are working fine, but um, we'll see how this does. Uh, now, on the 7500, as opposed to the set, the previous 7000 series, Nikon has done something interesting. Um, I don't know, and from at least the internet blogs and forums and stuff like that, people aren't too thrilled. Um, that's a, it has one SD card slot. A lot of cameras in this category are coming with two SD card slots now. Um, 
Don't know what to think about that. But you can always get 64, 128, 512 megabyte or uh, gig cards. Uh, so, um, but that backup capability is nice. Uh, with this being built, set up for um, shoot video as well, uh, it has a mic input as well as a headphone jack. So mic input would be there, headphone jack would be there. Um, USB, or I'm sorry, uh, this is the remote switch, USB and HDMI. Um, so standard uh, mini or micro USB like what your cell phone has or most people's Android cell phones have these days and has seemingly become a standardized plug for low voltage charging. The uh, lens, uh, 18 to 140, VR. It's uh, has a, what is it here? Uh, it doesn't stay, where is it? Um, wow, well, it doesn't stay. Uh, I'm guessing that's probably a, either a 68 or 72, oh, 67 millimeter, there you go. Um, it's on the bottom of the lens here. I'm used to the old fashioned style of it being around here. Uh, anyhow, nice little lens, good lens caps, Nikon lens caps, always great. I love Nikon rear lens caps, uh, as opposed to if you got a, a Tamron or Sigma and stuff like that. They have more generic lens caps that fit a lot others, and it can be a little confusing. Nikons are nice, they quick to put on, they stay, they work, I like them. Front cap, your standard center squeeze, and your body cap, of course, just as great. Mount, mount up here. There we go. Let's see if we have a charge in the camera. Battery. Um, one other interesting thing to note, uh, as as I was mentioning, differences from the 7000 series. This doesn't have the ports on the bottom for battery grip. Um, nor does it appear to have anything in the well to put a battery grip old-fashioned style inside. I have talked with a third-party manufacturer when I knew that. I was going to be getting this sent to me and they have stated that sometime this year we will be getting them. Uh, they do a lot of OEM work for various brands, house brands that Adorama, B&H and other places have. Uh, so I have heard and have gotten information from them that there will be a third party battery grip but it will be old school style. So we're talking D70, uh, D, uh, let's see, D70. Um, uh, other Pentex, uh, the, the first generation SDSs and stuff, and some of the, um, Canon didn't have them, but, but some of the Nikons and, and oh no, uh, Canon Rebels, uh, the, uh, the early Canon Rebels. Um, so it'll attach, it'll go into the grip here, but for a vertical shutter release, they're probably going to have some goofy thing that attaches to the side here, so you're going to have to have your ports open, so that, there goes the weather sealing on that. And it kind of looks goofy having a honking thing there. Um, I'm going to have to say, right off the bat, bad decision icon. But that's just because I love battery grip. It always gives me a spot for my pinky, as you can see here. I can fit it on this grip, nice and thick. It's good feeling. I do have to say that. But when it, it, it wants to slip off, um, my hands aren't that big. Uh, Mine are just a medium size for a guy. Um, I wear a large size glove, so that gives you an idea. Uh, but it does have a deep grip. Um, I am able to, to fully comfortably hold it. Uh, the back is nicely designed. I'm thinking of the camera, that, the other camera that I just did some work on, the Olympus uh, OMD M10 Mark III. Um, it's a smaller camera. But what's really cool about it, it has a little back notch for your thumb. This has a little bit here. Uh, you probably can't see it from there. But um, I, I'm not sure. Uh, um, uh, for the Olympus being such a small camera, it has a really good grip, really good feel. This is a bigger camera and feels good up front. The back's a little, little less uh, 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 wanting to be desired. Um, it's definitely uh, going to be a two-hand camera for when um, you're using the rear command dial. Uh, the front, you, not a problem. Uh, the command dials, they feel solid. 
a little rubbery on the um, on the texture, but they have a solid click to them, both front and back. Back is a little more muted than the front. The front is a little louder. Um, dials up top, nice machine dial up top. Good, good job, Nikon. Uh, LCD. Um, that's had the panel that I took off. This is their nice tilting LCD. So um, it can go horizontal like that, up to about like that. No side to side. Um, yeah, that's 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 about it. So uh, vloggers and stuff like that, you're not going to be able to see yourself. But that doesn't mean this still doesn't shoot good video. Um, we're not a video expert here at P3, but we will shoot some video, give it a whirl, see what it's like. Battery, it's low, comes up, hasn't been set up. So obviously, definitely a new camera. Um, came up with the English, you know, hey, set, set me up for English. Um, actually, it, uh, that, that was its last hurrah, so it was able to turn on for half a second. But, so, uh, battery doesn't ship apparently with much of a charge. Um, oh well. Uh, back to the design function. Um, it, it feels not bad. Um, I've gotten to play with the, uh, the D500s and stuff like that. It feels on par with that as far as uh, um, plasticiness, I guess you would say. Uh, it has a nice function button down here. So you can hit that with your pinky or your, or your uh, uh, ring finger. Um, function 2, function 1, inside the grip. Um, kind of like those buttons there, uh, so they're, they're quick access. Um, coming from uh, being a Nikon shooter myself, having the Pro Series uh, single number D bodies, um, I, I use those a lot uh, for uh, crop functions and stuff like that and, and the depth of field preview. Um, uh, this does have an illuminated LCD up top uh, when you pull it up to the thing. It, it has enough battery to light that up. Um, kind of like your standard old watch illumination. Not, nothing fancy, but hey, it works. Um, no, no, no back dial or anything else, so anything else illuminated. The command dial up top, uh, again, also similar to some previous other stuff and what I love on their uh, more pro quality bodies. It has a locking pin here um, for your bottom part for uh, single, continuous low, continuous high, um, uh, Q and QC, which I believe are quiet and quiet continuous, um, self-timer and M up, mirror lock up, as everybody knows, um, set that back. The top button here, um, it has your standard auto modes, uh, no flash mode, a scene mode, a U1, U2. So user program modes, um, effects, uh, manual, um, M, A, S, and P, manual, aperture, shutter, and program. <coughs> um, still kind of funny how they have program still and uh, an auto shooting mode. I tend to liken those to the same thing. Uh, being an old school, sh school shooter myself, but... Um, Nonetheless, I'm sure there's some functionality that, that they have that's built in there. Uh, looks, uh, no, 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 no. Still won't let me do anything. Um, on the back, lock for your command, uh, uh, for your, for your, shall we say, joystick type area back here, uh, the full right panel um, to lock that. Video button and shooting button. Love having a dedicated video button on the back uh, with a live view button in the center, um, info button, and then of course all of your standard menu, white balance, quality control, or uh, uh, quality zoom and info buttons and stuff like that. Uh, so, and delete and review. Um, bracket button up front, nice. Your main um, bracket button's there. Flash button, uh, let's see, I guess I have to have it turned on for it to pop up the flash. Yeah. Um, AF and manual, and it has the button that Nikon's gone to inside, so I'm guessing that's going to allow you to switch in between continuous autofocus and single autofocus, like almost all the bodies have now, uh, on the, as far as the button programs. The lens release as well. 
Um, good solid lockup on this lens feel, uh, and that would be because it has a weather sealing ring on the lens. Uh, didn't notice that this was one of them, but um, I'll do a little research. I apologize, I didn't fully look at it before. Uh, but this lens might have a little bit of weather sealing to it, which is never a bad thing. You never know when you're going to have be caught in rain. Lens is your standard um, zoom. Uh, it is front ring zoom, rear ring focus. So a lot, um, I almost all the Nikon new lenses are starting to go to that. I don't know if I like it. I'm old school. I've had 25 years of shooting with a front focus ring, back zoom ring. Um, so, but the front focus ring is nice. Um, good solid feel. The lens extends, has your nice little extension there. Um, negative, uh, they don't ship with a hood on this. Um, I did do enough little uh, research as soon as I got this to know that it doesn't ship with the hood uh, to not look for it in the box. Um, I'll say kind of uh, another strike on, on this kit at least, but we'll see how this lens does. Um, other than that, that's pretty much about it. So it's P3 with a Nikon D7500 with 18 to 140 kit lens. It's a F3.5 to 5.6 G lens, VR. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We'll test it out for the next month or so. Let you guys know. Seems to be a decent body. Good for consumer, prosumer, uh, backup to your possibly new D850 or 810 or even a D5 um, and a D500. I'd probably have this as a backup to a D500, we'll see. Um, it's cheaper. We'll see what it can do compared. Now, be on the lookout. We'll do some more hands-on, post up a review. Catch you guys later. Have a good one. P3newsreviews.com.